day one for our recognition editorial team at DX Korea, the International Defense Exhibition at the KIDEX Exhibition Center near Seoul, South Korea. This exhibition is mainly dedicated to the South Korean defense industry. Behind me is the booth of Anwa, one of the most important defense companies in South Korea. For example, they present a wide range of combat and military vehicles. And you can see behind me the BIO, an air defense missile system. One of the success stories of the South Korean defense industry is the K9, a 155 mm self propelled horizon. This vehicle is in service with the South Korean Armed Forces, but also in five other countries in the world. For example, the Fitina in Turkey, the Krab in Poland, the Vajira T in India, the Mukari in Finland, and the K9 Estonia. The highlight of the show is the K2 main battle tank, also nicknamed Black Panther in the South Korean Armed Forces, is one of the most modern main battle tanks in the world. The main armament of the K2 Black Panther consists of one 122mm main cannon, one 7.62mm coaxial machine gun and one 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun. Hanwha is a number one defense company in Korea and has a various lineups and ready for operational use. So we are um, marketing fiercely into uh, international market. The name of the system is Chunmu, uh, and it has a 239 millimeter class rockets. Uh, it will fire 12 at one time. And it has a very precise guidance system that will um, lead every rocket within the 15 meters radius Hanwha was uh, designated as a developer for Chunmu system uh, in 2008, and Chunmu has been operational since 2012. I cannot tell you the details because it's uh, currently under development, but we do have plans to extend the range of Chunmu um, probably up to twice in the future. Actually, this one is the, our own invested vehicle for test and prototype. So, and then government guys watch that, and they inspire of that. So they made a project for government project for Korean army. So we started this vehicle with Korean government. So this vehicle and this vehicle is almost the same but it attests the weapon system, remote control weapon system. Yeah, so it can control the remotely and it can also go automatically. Yeah. It's almost the same in Shashi, but it attests the some battery system and attests the range extender. So it can go, it can work for 72 hours. Actually, equipment is almost the same because Korean government copied them, copied, copied it for this one. So it attests the LiDAR sensor and the surveillance camera. It also has the LiDAR sensor, surveillance camera, but it added the weapon yeah, and the, the drone to communicate, communication, yeah. At DX Korea 2018, uh, Anwar Defense System present a new generation of 6x6 armored combat vehicle. Since many years, ANWA has developed 6x6 vehicles and 8x8 version under the name of Black Fox. 
But the Tigon is a new generation of combat vehicles. It's a new design, a new vehicle. At Days Korea 2018, the Tigon 6x6 was presented with a, a turret from Kunzberg. The development of the Tigon 6x6 version is fully completed and is already tested uh, by ANWA systems. ANWA will also start the development of the Tigon 8x8 vehicle with the capacity to put an EV weapon system able to be fitted with a armament up to 105 mm. L Engine X1 is comprised of consists of four business sectors, which is the precision guided munitions, C4ISR, electronic warfare, and others, and also the radar systems. But what you see here is a Lexo. We call him Lexo L Engine X1 exoskeletons. The exoskeleton Lexo is developed for uh, for our ground troops to minimize the stress of the uh, repetitive motions and to maximize the effectiveness and efficiencies. Um, this one was developed for the military purposes, but, it, but also it can be used for the civil and the public domain as well. For instance, you have two different types. One is for the full body type and a backpack type. So if you see, if you, let's say you have a portable anti-air missile systems to be uh, installed at the top of the mountains um, to minimize the burden or the, uh, for the efforts for our ground troops to minimize the efforts, um, we have developed these kind of exoskeletons. These LEXO systems are currently completely developed. Um, it's uh, completed with the development phase. Um, for the mass productions, we still haven't got any contracts yet, but we're working hard on the contracts. And we're also, at the same time, we're developing the next versions, which kind of goes with the trend where the size gets smaller and the weight gets uh, lighter and to enhance the operabilities. We have actually have done the demonstrations before and we have also demonstrated to our fire departments and so on and so forth to find more usage in a civil or the public domains. So whenever they need our systems, we're being prepared to provide them the best services that's possible. I think one of the core capabilities that our products has is about its lightweight and its operabilities and its utility. Um, and also we have built this just for the uh, military purposes, which means we have applied higher standards when it comes to the environmental testings or so on and so forth. So the durability would be one of the key uh, factors. My company, SNT Motive, is a single and sole manufacturer of you know, the, uh, firearms in Korea. Uh, our company was established in 1973. And we have you know, 45 years of history of making and manufacturing and developing the guns. The, uh, we have uh, four, four 5.56 caliber assault rifles. Uh, this one, K2C1, is a basic Korean infantry, infantry rifle. And we have another you know, three versions. One is K2C. This is another you know, shot battle, and then a uh, shot bus stocks. And this is K2C CQB. Stands, CQB stands for the you know, close quarter battle. This is for the you know, special troops. And this is an XK8. This is um, for the you know, bullpup design. Uh, this is really another you know, conventional design, and then this is a bullpup design. We have uh, two types of design. And all these uh, conventional rifles has you know, the folded buster and extendable, extendable. So uh, very, very efficient in maneuvering. This is, uh, we call it Azimus driver. Uh, this is applied to the uh, anti-craft, anti-craft targeting vehicle. So uh, we have you know, the drivers. This is you know, the driving unit. We have you know, the drivers. So uh, on the, you know, the anti-aircraft vehicle, we get you know, the, some target up there. Then we calculate, controller calculate the position of the target. Then this you know, the unit will adjust, adjust you know, the missile for the, you know, the targeting. targeting. 
designed the newly developed gun for Korean Army, K-1A submachine gun for the you know, special troops. Uh, okay, we are using the you know, Picatinny rays and the short barrel and the short buster. So attached in you know, all the accessories. And this one is K-11, K-11 uh, dual barrel. Dual barrel means you know, the 5.56 caliber as well as 20, 20 caliber. A 20 caliber is an you know, airburst gun. Airburst gun. So it will replace, uh, replace you know, the uh, single launch system in the squad level. Uh, this is a 30, 30 rounds magazine. This is a 10 rounds magazine. This is for the you know, the, uh, 20 millimeter uh, explosive corner shot. Yes, uh, basic is you know, the 9 millimeter pistols and the camera and monitors. So this is bending area. The Pungsan Corporation is a company which has two business branches. One is the copper alloy products and the other is the defense products such as ammunition from small arms, small arms ammunition to the large caliber ammunition. This, the para observation ammunition is the concept of this product is that upon firing it infiltrates the high altitude of area space over the targets and transmit uh, real-time images and the GPS coordinates to the ally, and which it helps the ally to assess the damage of the enemies and decide the additional attack. The drone smart ammunition is the concept is that it is released from the aircraft, as you can see here. And when, it's, when it is released, it searches for the target automatically and recognizes the target and attack it. The drones are controlled by the aircraft. We are trying to develop it with the aircraft, but also we believe that we can make it with the projectiles. <laughs> 